For some reason, like, I was testing this out a few days ago, like, when I got to this play, was testing this stage out here, for some reason the music here was missing a beat to it, I don't know why, I guess it was probably just the age of the disc, or something, but, I mean, that could be it, because I've had this, this is, we're playing this on my childhood copy of Sonic Adventure 2, who did on the Nintendo GameCube with, I could do the Xbox port, slash PlayStation port, or three point, point, but I wanted to do this version, version because, yeah, this was the version I grew up on, so I felt like it was only right for me to do this. And the only, however, the Xbox 360 version, that's gonna be a backup in case if something goes wrong here, like if the disc gets too scratch or something, which I was testing this out for how for like this past week, just making sure uh, this all still plays well, and it, it still does. And we have a timer limit of eight minutes. So, oh boy, that's no good. But what is good is we found that another upgrade, which is the Ancient Light. Which now we can do the light speed attack, which it operates pretty much the same as it did in Sonic Adventure, where you just charge up and it has the same effects as well. And Sonic will say ready, but when, as you're still holding B with these effects around him, but if there was an enemy nearby and you let go of it, it was like, go! And start attacking the enemies like really quickly. Like, there's some enemies here, let's give it a try. Yeah, so that's how that works. I don't really use it that often because that's an optional upgrade to get. So, yeah, I don't really see the point in getting using it that much since it's an optional one. one but, but for the sake of this let's play, I'll get as many as I can or whatever ones I feel like getting as the other bonuses is to completing the, that aren't required to beat the game. But some are required, like the light speed dash, you do it. And it's funny because I was also debating on like thinking about doing a, a challenge video where seeing what is the fewest amount of upgrades you can collect while beat you need to beat the game because there was an upgrade in every stage and like there was one in City Escapes but we I we couldn't get that because some power ups require you getting some other power ups to get them. Um so yeah. Yeah, so that's why you couldn't get one in City Escape. But but that's okay. Because it's an optional one. And heck, whatever power-ups I do miss, I'll go back in like a bonus video so to show off, off the ones I skipped or missed because I didn't feel like getting them or because I just didn't have the right, uh, have the correct, needed a power-up to get it that was in a later level. So, yeah, there we go. Cool. Oh, and got the gold ring. And <laughs> seemed to be able to get it out of this place. And yeah, so the time limit's not too steep. You can beat it easily in less than half the time. You know, what's nice is that if you die, you just go back to the checkpoint, and you don't go all the way back to the beginning, which is, which is so relieving and nice. Sure, 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 Knuckles. But, okay. Let's try to get the volume down all the way to uh, three notes. And, what's that over there? It's the shovel claws. And now we can dig. Which, which digging has also been improved as well. To well, now instead of having to press A and B, you could just, you just have to press, jump and press B. Well, you can do it on the ground. And you just have to press Y, or twice actually, because you can also get the option to punch. Which, you can zero punch by just pressing B uh, normally. And if you're doing like a combo like that, you can do like this uppercut thing. If you do it while running, it, 
does like a little charge attack forward, but I can't really do it here because there's not enough ground around here for us to work with. Oh, but I know one stage where we can do it in and Okay, here it is. <laughs> the emeralds around here. Just need to take this rocket up. Glad that the rockets have returned from adventure as well. Oh, and all right. And by the way, since there was a bunch of bottomless pit below us, what happens if we go in it? You just float back up. But if you, however, if you don't press A before it, before you go back down, you will actually die. So, look out for that. Okay, it's not you. Here's. And yeah. Oh, okay, someone grabbed onto that. And now where the, is this animal? Okay, here it is. Here's so. Uh, I love the thing that you can go, go. You can pick up pumpkins and such. Oh, wow, like, whoa. Another thing you can also kind of do is dig around. It's, it's a random chance, but you can dig up for skulls. I was around here, but yeah. They don't do anything. They're just uh, there for details and... There were tons of, there were also tons of rings that you can dig underground and as well as infinitely as you can. And which is nice if you can't find any rings on the stage. You can, you can also find stuff like shields or, or, or pat and such. And if you don't dig up anything, Knuckles will say rats. <laughs> which is interesting but funny at the same time. the moon so so that sucks but nothing compared to the oh you know, it's much different than how it blew up the moon in in Sonic X where it just actually blew up half of it and you don't see that it's coy it's also kind of funny because back in like 2013 a fan asked Takashi Azuka to go about that moon about the moon because in Sonic games because he asked him like how come in every Sonic game after Sonic Adventure 2, the moon is fixed? Then Takashi Azuka actually had an answer to that. Uh, but, but before I get to that, uh, how do we jump across this? It's too far to jump. And wait. Okay, now, I probably saw the wings also disappear too, but 
Hmm. What's this over here? A booster. Mm. I mean, what this does is allows us to you jump and then hold A in midair. Press A again and hold it in midair, and you can actually hover now. Which this is when the mech gameplay becomes a lot more fun. You know, and with this, you can even do speed runs on a couple of stages too. That you're not supposed that don't require it, but it makes it a lot stages a lot quicker and easier to CO2. You know, and and guy, our up is so good to have, and I would say, Jin. Yeah, but anyway, back to what I was saying before, well, well, Tails is now wanted in May for like a million dollars under that post billboard I destroyed there, but, and yeah, what Kamuzuka answered was that fan who asked him about how come in every Sonic game after Adventure 2, the moon is fixed. He said that, that the moon is just always facing a what, the, you're always seeing the good half of the moon, moon well. That's always facing Earth, while the bad half is always facing away from the man, Earth. So, that's pretty hilarious and such. Uh, such a genius thing, thing to think of, of in all future games that show that the moon is fixed. So that proves that Adventure 2 is canon now. <laughs> yeah, but is it really canon? Because we never really see the bad half of the moon, though. Oh, so that's something, but it's not too important, which really, but, but yeah, it is just something that's pretty cool, crazy and cool, cool that got answered to it back in 2013. Can you like, yeah, yeah and every shot time you see the moon in, moon in the future Sonic game, but if it's Sonic 06, that's that ending cutscene with Sonic just looking up at the moon. It's a full moon and it's fixed. But if it's that one point in colors where Eggman fires that beam and such and it backfires. Here's in one beam goes up to the moon and such. Oh my, right. can't destroy those yet. I don't know, I'm so used to just having all the upgrades to where I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I'll just destroy these. He's but no, I don't have that up. Great yet. Okay, so, yeah, that. But whatever upgrade it is, I'll get it later on. A lot later on. Uh, but yeah. Luckily, for these platforms here, they don't collapse. They just tilt, hold in directions like that. And so, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, I don't know, destroy that cop car, but. But yeah, the reason the cops are still after us uh, so is because, yeah, as of what Sonic did, even though he didn't do anything. <laughs> but really, those guy, cops really need to get their eyes checked. <laughs> but then again, they probably already did, even though I'm talking about game, about stuff that, that already that happened like 20 years ago. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can just press A to skip, speed that up slightly. Sure is, but however, there was an upgrade that we can get, which is not required to beat the game, but it will make a later level a lot easier. So what you have to do is hit that switch there, and the water will now drain down and all the way down to this, and oh boy, and that piece of the envelope will right there. That's always so satisfying to do, just find an envelope piece that... Yeah, just find an emerald piece that that isn't active on the radar yet. Yeah, it's so always so satisfying to do. And we gotta go to this point kind of quick here, otherwise we're gonna drown and we're gonna start hearing the music about now. Yeah, here it is. 
It's gonna have like a. Hold on. Yeah, it's gonna have a countdown like that, then you're gonna just gonna drown. And what's this? Hey, oh, necklace. And with that, now we can breathe underwater. Wait, it's. It's not a required power up, but. Hey, hey. It is a, power, a nice power up to have, which can. Uh, can help with the, a stage like this and a stage later on, near the end of the game. And because, well, a part of the stage later on at the near the end of the game. But yeah, it's not, uh, now we can't not drown and that's also one of the few power-ups that is exclusive to that character because because each character has like power-ups that they do collect the, the same but they have different names and looks to them. So where's this? So yeah, I could also hit restart to try to do that over again but so I could guarantee that A rank but I don't think, think I'll do that now especially since I found an emerald piece already. And Okay, where was the emerald? It's somewhere in here. Oh, there it is. So now just one more block to get. <laughs> and then... And yeah, I guess one thing the game will shows that. Try to... Show that the mines just... Oh, wait. Yeah, just selecting a different level like that, the water will change the levels and... This is what that second level is like. Yeah, I don't know if this was a mistake or not. Oh wait, was it? Oh, that wasn't. But yeah, let's stick there and get our first third M mode. Technically second M mode because I've already found the first third one first. But yeah, <laughs> oh, we still got that A rank. I think that's good. Could at least. It I thought that getting the air neck was it would cost me. Probably because I also got the third M mode in as I was get, trying to get that. Even though you have knuckles with you, you're about you too, Amy. But yeah, so we have a different type of mission here. With it, which there's, there's only like two of these in the entire game, and there's an entire co-op multiplayer mode dedicated to this, which is cool. But, but yeah, <laughs> enough of that. And also, there's no upgrades on the stage here. So, and also, once you get 20 rings, you can get a boost. Who? Then you got some hit cars around as well. And another one thing, little thing you can do is if you double tap A as you're turning, you can get your car to spun out, spew out like this and such. And there's a little something I love to do, I always love to do with it. Here, with so cool with. So let's see if I can pull it off. Okay, right here, I can do it. <laughs> I can drive backwards! <laughs> <laughs> That's so, so cool. <laughs> and also, if you if you stay still a lot too long, or yeah, if you hit a wall at a ninety degree angle like that, you spun out like that. Yeah, so try not to do that too much. Of, but yeah, I don't. Even, I was trying to show it off again here, but but yeah, if you um, if you stay like completely ninety uh, driving backwards like this, like. Like that, 
stay still for like a second on that, you automatically turn back around. <laughs> but yeah, if you just keep zigzagging it back and forth like this as you're facing backwards, you could keep it going for a while. <laughs> you also might want to do it too to uh, to make the short turns a bit easier or quicker actually. Uh, and also, you can fall into the, off the road and into the water, but it can be kind of fall, uh, hard to pull off in some cases. But in other cases, you, you it's best that you don't don't do it because yeah, there are no check. If you do, there are no checkpoints in this level. Also, if you die, either a die by falling into the water or run out of time, you will have to restart all the way over, and that's no good. Uh, no. Oh, and also the timer, it does, numbers do say at that cap at 9999, but it keeps going past that, higher than that, but they just didn't bother making a third slot for a third number, even though that wouldn't have been that hard to do, but, but yeah, this last part here is just a big straightaway here, well, and you have to catch up to that car up there, which you can slow down and do it just by pressing V, but, you're gonna want to do it, otherwise you run out of time. And by the way, that car wasn't the car; it was a limo. You gotta be like, it was probably because I was fooling around too much with that, uh, that driving backwards thing, thing. But that's okay. Oh wait, you get that for bidding that for the first time on a new file. <laughs> Mr. President, reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Our financial communities are impacted and our satellite communications are down. An emergency meeting has been called. Mr. President, this is a national crisis. Spare me the details. Exactly just what is it that you want? Dr. Redman. <laughs> well, let's just get down to business then, shall we, Mr. President? I won't bore you with all the details since I know you are a very busy man. Mr. President, my demands are quite simple. Surrender to the Eggman Empire and make no attempts to resist. Otherwise. Otherwise. Otherwise, your country will cease to exist. You have 24 hours to give me your answer. No way! find that instance another time because uh, yeah I'm gonna stop the video here here and such so yeah that will be it for this episode here so next time on Sonic Adventure 2 we shall hopefully finish up the hero story who knows but find only one way to find out so I'll see you all next time